John, it's always tough coming up here, but you've got the job done uh, regardless of those two late tries at the end. Yeah, I thought the players were really good because, uh, as you rightly stated, it's, it's difficult to come up here. But I thought we've played a, a real good game of rugby league, and the two tries at the end do put a, a lopsided uh, scoreline in, that, which I, I feel that we didn't deserve. So I, I'm really pleased with what we've, we've come up with today, and obviously it's another two points. So three out of four, it's a decent start that we're uh, we're making now. You fought on the overall performance John? I thought it was a good performance you know I thought we were smart I thought we were clinical and I thought we were highly committed they came out the first 15 minutes a thousand miles an hour and, and we had to weather that storm and they did do you know and, and came through the other side and you know apart from the last five minutes when they notched 12 points uh, you know very very happy indeed uh, there are aspects of the game that I'm not happy about but not so much by players and the performance. When you look at the game, John, 29 penalties and set restarts, if you add it all together... Um... Well, the big one to me is it was 13-6 against us, the penalty count, and it was six set restarts. So uh, we're either doing something drastically wrong, which I don't feel we are, or I'll let you draw your own conclusions because I aren't going to get fined. Levy and Zongu uh, had to leave the field uh, in the, the second half, John, with uh, an injury, is he any? Well, no, I mean, it's a matter of assessing it, first of all, we, we, you know, his knee's swollen, we'll have to wait for the swelling to go down, he'll be in tomorrow, we'll have a look at it and see what, what action we need to do. There's, there's, we had four players on the sideline at the end who couldn't go back on, you know, and in all honesty, uh, Brad England shouldn't have gone back on because his groin was playing up. But uh, he volunteered to do that simply because we're down on troops. So when you put all those circumstances into the hat, you, you know, I can feel very happy. Evan Skur was the third, who was the fourth, John? Uh, well, all four are on sideline, Mick. Christ, I've just been bloody coaching the game of rugby league. So <laughs> that's your job to keep counts of that. Fair enough. John, yeah. how important was it that you weathered that early storm and then. It was very important, yeah, very important because we felt. You know, when you travel up here, if you've not quite got your land legs, they can come up and be two scores up before you know it. Well, they got four points up, but we, we quickly adjusted, controlled the half after the 15th minute, and then they get a penalty in front of the post. Anyway, we'll leave that. We'll just leave that. So, John, I thought Evan Skur was very good today. I thought Evan... I, I, I mean, they are, they've, they've all contributed, but, yeah, if you're going to single somebody out, Evan Skur was really good. And I, I sense when we put him on, it was the right time to put him on because uh, a bit of petrol had gone out of their tank and uh, he, he just ripped in and immediately made a bust and he was getting so his... way bashed through. Correct, him, yeah. correct. Yeah. And, you know, it was really good. But every, every single player can feel that they've contributed and, and feel happy with what they've done. And, and say it's one of these journeys that's it's a long way back but when you on the way back of that performance they, they say they can feel yeah it's not as far back now <laughs> it's not as far, it would have been a lot longer should we have lost the game but we've won the game so you know you can relax the players can have their music on which is a, a pain in the ass to tell you the truth but they can have their music on and then uh, you know we'll just get back home and, uh, and and get home and watch line of duty once again final conclusion Mick final concluding uh, <laughs> Episode. John, just finally on the, the penalties and set restarts, are you going to speak to the RFL the referee department? I, I about don't know, it? I don't know, I don't know because uh, uh, how I feel at the moment, I might say something that I'll later regret because uh, it'll take some money out of my wallet, so I'm not going to. You're a true Yorkshireman, like correct, me, yeah. correct. so we'll keep your money in your Co wallet. Exactly right.